Today we are going to talk about millimeter wave beam selection in analog beam forming using personalized federated learning. My name is Martin Isaacson. I'm an industrial PhD student in the Royal Institute of Technology and Ericsson Research in Stockholm, Sweden. I will present this today on behalf of myself, my co-authors Filippo Vanella, David Sandberg and Rickard Kuster. Using large antenna arrays combined with beamforming techniques, we can steer the energy from this transmitting antenna towards the user device, a mobile phone, to achieve the highest possible throughput in the downlink to this device. Traditionally, beam selection has been a cumbersome process requiring a considerable amount of overhead and computational power. In this work, we don't just rely on traditional methods. We take things to the next level by incorporating some clever artificial intelligence algorithms. By using the uplink sub 6 GHz channel estimates available in the base station, we can directly get the best downlink beam forming vector and do it all with minimal overhead. There are two main types of beam forming. Analog beam forming uses analog components like phase shifters to form directional beams. It's cost effective but lacks flexibility and steers only one beam at a time. Here, beams are selected from a predefined codebook. On the other hand, digital beam forming processes signals individually, allowing multiple simultaneous beams, great precision, and adaptive feedback. However, digital beam forming requires increased computational complexity and power consumption. Both techniques bring unique benefits, and in this work, we use analog beam forming, which makes the problem of selecting the best beam a multi class classification problem in machine learning terms. Federated learning is a distributed machine learning framework that allows us to train a single global model without sending data to a central location. It works by first broadcasting the global model to a selected set of clients here at base stations before each of the clients perform training on their own data. Finally, the clients send back model updates that are aggregated into a new global model. This process is repeated until training converges. For this particular problem, Federated learning is a fitting solution because it gives us some privacy guarantees. As we can see on this map of a large European city, some areas of the city are designated as residential, while others are commercial. In the commercial areas, we tend to see traffic peaking during the day as shoppers and workers go about their business. Meanwhile, in the residential areas, the traffic peaks in the evenings as people return home from work and school. However, it's important to note that not all cells in the residential district will necessarily have residential level traffic. Some individual cells may have traffic characteristics more typical of a commercial area, even if they're located within a residential district. In earlier works, the data set used had independent and identically distributed characteristics, where the data distribution was the same or similar for all base stations. In practice, however, it is unlikely that the data collected from multiple base stations would have the same distribution. In our work, we aimed to generate a data set that had non-ID characteristics, where the data input distribution and output class distribution differed between base stations. We therefore intentionally made the dataset unbalanced between base stations and changed the output class distribution to better represent real world scenarios. To generate our dataset with non-ID characteristics, we used the DeepMIMO dataset as a base and introduced variations to it. The problem we aim to solve here is difficult. A single local model will tend to overfit due to the lack of training data. A global model would not be good for any of the clients and combining them in an ensemble won't give good results. 
To solve this problem, we used two techniques. First, we used an iterative federated clustering technique to create global cluster models that adapt to the clusters formed by the non-IID data. Secondly, we used a mixture of experts to learn to weigh the local model and the best global cluster model. Finally, we used a new optimization algorithm called Lion and adapted it for use on the parameter server. We see that our solution adapts to the clusters in the data with increased performance compared to our baselines and that is robust against setting the number of clusters too high. We are more sample efficient, meaning that we can achieve the same performance using less training data or with the same amount of training data, we can achieve a higher performance. We used a personalized federated learning technique to adapt to the non-IED characteristics that we find in the beam selection problem. Our method is robust to incorrectly setting the number of expected clusters, and we showed better performance by combining personalized federated learning and by adapting a new optimization method, Lion, to work on the parameter server. As usual, you can find a link to the paper in the description below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you very much.